This short clip is to explain the various meters that we have here. This meter up here is for each battery. As you press it, battery 1, which is our starter battery, and what charge is in it. Currently, right now, the uh, batteries are being charged, so the needle's up in the uh, charge range. This is battery bank, actually number 1, but it's, it says 2. But it's the bank of batteries that are located underneath the stairs. Battery bank 3 is currently not hooked up. There's no batteries, and it's located underneath the small seat in the main salon by the table. This meter right here is currently not being used because it actually is for the uh, wind vane that we have that we don't have hooked up. So this meter could be used for metering uh, solar panels or a wind vane. And this one over here is actually coming from the ampage from the uh, charger on the motor. And it tells you the current state of what that would be. To activate this you actually have to turn the alternator on on the engine. It's disconnected from charging anything until you actually pull this switch out here either to position one or two doesn't matter. Once you pull this switch out a little bit to the first position there's a 30 second delay and then the alternator will kick in with a surface charge. You should see this meter here jump up to maybe 30 amps back and forth. That's to give the engine time to uh, warm up. Once it's left out for any length of time, the high output alternator will kick in and you'll see this meter jump way up to 100, 120, back and forth until all banks are charged. This key is to join the starter battery to the house bank. By simply turning this key, you've now interconnected the starter battery and the house banks in case your starter battery for your engine is too low to start. And located down here of course is the main switch for the DC system. You can select battery bank 1, both, or battery bank 2 to run your house and whatever other 12 volt system you want. These two dials function just fine when the engine's running, but you won't see anything on this dial unless you pull the alternator switch downstairs. This switch right here, remember, has to be operating either one click out or two in order for the dial upstairs to show up. Don't make the mistake of looking at it and thinking it's not working. You've simply forgotten to turn the alternator on. Now once you stop the engine, I recommend pushing this all the way back in again, shutting it off. That way there's no power that can possibly go to the field wire and it might slowly drain your battery. This I'm not sure of. But to play it safe, turn it off when you have the engine off. You want to charge your batteries. Turn that back on. You'll be able to light up the full panel upstairs in the cockpit. With this door open, you can see the starter battery. 
in the wiring that's all running through to it. And down here on the bottom is a battery box that contains two post bank batteries. Um, in the second set of post banks are under this settee right here. One needs to spend a considerable amount of time, time here having a look with the stairs out, learning where all the wires are and where they should go. Could be advisable if you're a bit leery of it to put labels on each one of the wires. Having installed it all myself, I can readily recognize what I'm looking at. Here you can see the wiring that's uh, attached to those gauges on the outside of the stairs. This side door opens, it, opens up when the stairs are bolted in place. You can still get access to the fusing that you have in there. And currently here you can see what each one of those fuses is dedicated to. This might be a better view of the fuses that are in behind here and let's see what they're up the electrical panel for the ship has got lots of room for expansion if a person desires to put in more electronics the pin that I just removed up here is what's holding it in the closed position you simply remove that and this hinges down and everything's neatly arranged in here room for more DC or AC circuits This is the charger system for the, uh, the boat. You can charge the starter battery and the two house banks currently right now. Um, house bank number two, which is three on that other switch, is not connected because there's no batteries there. You can have various settings on this for temperature, type of battery, etc. To activate this unit, you plug it in the red cord in the chart table area. One little feature that a person may never find is up un, behind that upper shelving, there's a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet that was installed for running TVs, computers, so don't forget to have a look for it.